Hey, how's it going everyone? Um, people have been asking me about my uh, anime figures that I have displayed in my room and then I also have a bunch of stuffed animals and I wanted to show you exactly just how I do it and where I get them. Uh, here we go. All right, this is one of the places that we go to. It's uh, Sega. Uh, there's a bunch of other ones, but this is the ones that is open today. So let's go take a look. All right, we're gonna take a stroll through Sega today. We're gonna see what kind of things that they have, and then we're gonna play a couple of the games so I can show you guys exactly how I win and what I do. So first, you gotta sanitize your hands. You know, people are dirty, the world's dirty. Gotta do it. There's no good getting out of it. But there's actually quite a lot of games here, and there's a whole bunch of different items that you can get. It varies from snacks to anime figures to stuffed Pokemon and such. Uh, these claw games I have difficult playing because you have to have it positioned a certain way and if the claws not grabbing them you're pretty much just tossing money at these things uh, but it's all generally good uh, you can generally tell if you put a coin in and you try grabbing something it's actually if it picks it up then you're like oh, okay cool I have a chance if it doesn't pick it up I wouldn't even bother uh, they have a lot of famous things such as Dragon Ball Z they have One Piece they have uh, my Hero Academia. Um, they're waiting for Demon Slayer to come out. We're all waiting for Demon Slayer because uh, once those come out, I'm going to have a whole bunch of anime figurines. You can also challenge people to Tekken and Street Fighter out here. I wouldn't do it because they're badass. And they're really good. Same with the drums and same with karaoke. I don't know why so many Japanese people know how to sing. I'm actually quite jealous. The money exchange is so that you'll be able to move paper yen to coin yen. And they have a couple of stations throughout, and they have snacks. Uh, they're generally easier to get sometimes because they want the, the food to uh, go through. And we're actually going to try this machine first today. All right, so this is our first game, and the object of this game is to get the rotating light to land on a particular spot so that the lever drops down. It's fairly easy, but it can test your patience because whenever I play, for some reason, it'll always land uh, on the spot either before or after such as right now um, I it really ticks me off because I'm really close and I swear that I'll be landing on the spot just like right there and uh, I feel the emotions coming back from that day because I remember how angry I was getting uh, but again you just got to be cool because it is a kids game and... yeah you know you know how it is and I'm a very sore loser so uh, it tests my patience, but because I'm a sore loser, I'll keep trying and trying until I finally succeed. And luckily enough, this one was actually a very quick game. And I actually have this one in my room now, and you'll be able to grab it from the bottom right here. And all is good in the world. Alright, so we move on to our next game, and this is an actual claw game. And usually, I would test the games before I even... Uh, try to film it, but luckily enough this time I filmed it on one take and we will watch And just like that I was able to get Larry the Lapras jr. on one coin which is 100 yen, which is a little less than a dollar, which is way less than anything I would have to spend in a Pokemon store out here in Japan. So I am very happy with this. So now we move over to one of my favorite games here in the arcades in Japan, are the hook and the ring games. The reason being is because all you have to do is move the hook over the ring and have it positioned to where it'll be able to grasp the ring and pull it up. It's more of a skill-based game. That's why I like it compared to the claw games, which is really all about luck. And just like that, on one coin, I'm able to pull the ring, and then I was able to get, I believe is the character from the new My Hero Academia movie, uh, Nine. And luckily enough, I was able to find somebody who's actually playing the drums, and he's playing his ass off. You see what I'm saying? I really thought that I was good at Guitar Hero World Tour, but... You know, fuck me, I guess. All right, I think today was a great day. We got a bunch of stuff. Um, some of these were won uh, off camera because I tried it once and I ended up winning. 
uh, because I thought the games were going to be hard, such as that thing and this thing, but overall, we did pretty good. Now it's time to go home and hand him out his gifts. Bye.